The New York Knicks have just slayed a three-headed beast in the Cleveland Cavaliers to send this team to the second round for the first time in 10 years. Yes, they haven't won a playoff series since the Mellow era. Talk about a poverty franchise. But anyway, how did the Knicks get to the second round of the playoffs? How did they get to the playoffs? Well, it all started with an off-season move of acquiring Jalen Brunson. Yes, Jalen Brunson, the guy from the Cavs, that was Luka's sidekick. Let's be real, he was Luka's sidekick. But no one really understood the hype going into the offseason. Yes, he had a pretty good postseason the year before. But no one really understood why he was going to get offered so much money by the Knicks. You know, maybe it was because his daddy worked there. But who knew? Well, the Knicks knew. Because this guy, he blossomed into who it should have been an all-star. Is he an all-star? Couldn't tell you. Um, Yes, Jalen Brunson played all-star level basketball. And he's the reason that the New York Knicks went ahead and made a trade during the trade deadline to go out and get his buddy, uh, J- Josh Hart. You know, Josh Hart has balled out since joining the Knicks, by the way. Him and Jalen Brunson are fantastic additions to an already solid young core. I'm talking uh, potential bust. Not really, though. RJ Barrett, love the guy. Uh, then you've got Mitchell Robinson, 2K God. Yes, center. He pretty pretty good in this last game, by the way. And uh, almost six man of the year in Emmanuel quickly. So you got, a, you got a good young core there. And then you add Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart. This young core turns into a playoff team. A dangerous playoff team. A playoff team that becomes a fifth seed. A fifth seed that knocks out a fourth seed. That kind of playoff team. Now, they didn't only knock out the Cleveland Cavaliers, the favorites, in the series. They knocked them out in five games. How? Well, because of their depth, because of their stars, because Donovan Mitchell wasn't up to the task. Yeah, he saw Josh Hart's tweet before the series even kicked off, and he was shaking in his boots. Let's keep it a buck. Now, in game one of the series, I'd say it's perfect. It's a perfect example of why Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart were so valuable. You see, in game one, Jalen Brunson would go on to score, I want to say, 27 points on three steals, Two assists, two rebounds. Mainly his scoring was important here. And 27 points might seem pretty average for a star. But considering the fact that the Knicks ended up winning this game by four points, every single point from Jalen Brunson and Josh Hart mattered. Now, how many did Josh Hart get in game one? Well, he got 17. He did his thing. Uh, Four steals, two assists, and 10 rebounds. Yes, this guy, for a guard especially, gets a lot of rebounds. I'm talking Westbrook-type numbers. Not triple-double numbers, but 10 points. Yeah, triple-double numbers. Anyway, Josh Hart and Jalen Brunson were key to winning Game 1, especially after Jalen Brunson iced the game. He basically ended the game with this shot right here. For a reset, a fresh 14 seconds. Brunson driving an Osmond floater. Good off class for Brunson. 27 for Jalen Brunson and a four-point lead again for the Knicks. Now, after that shot, it was pretty clear that the New York Knicks were walking away with game one and maybe even the series. But Donovan Mitchell is Donovan Mitchell, all right? He may not be Jimmy Butler, and if you've seen the last video, you know. But Donovan Mitchell stepped up. He was not going to go ahead, show up with the Cavs for one season, and not win a single playoff game. He turned up in game two. Uh, let's see, 107 to 90. It was it was a blowout. Let's be let's keep it a buck. It was a blowout. Honestly, the Knicks, if they had any momentum at this point, pretty much lost most of it. Let's be real, lost most of it. And Jalen Brunson had slightly worse game. Josh Hart, especially from the field, only getting five points, really hurt this team. Four rebounds. He he's a rebound threat, and he only got four. So. Round of applause for the Cavs, you know. Uh, 2K, 2K Demons. All right, this Cavs team. If you play 2K, you know. This Cavs team on franchise mode, unstoppable. They win all the time. Doesn't matter, okay? Because Donovan Mitchell, in real life, turned up. One game two. <sighs> Josh Hart. After having a poor game two performance, he realized that him and Jalen Brunson were going to need a mesh even better than they already were to take control of this series. Now, this Game 3 was happening happening in Madison Square Garden. So, you know, while I said most of that momentum was lost, they did get a little, little bit back with the fact that th- this team was playing in Madison Square Garden. 
Uh, Spike Lee was there, a bunch of celebs, not as good as LA, just saying, but they did have celebs. Uh, anyway, Josh Hart would get 13 points, 6 rebounds, uh, 2 steals, 2 steals, yes, Josh Hart, bounce back game, not the best game, but it was it was a bounce back compared to the last, uh, not hard to improve off of terrible. Anyway, uh, Jalen Brunson, how did he do? 21 points, his third 20 point game of the series, uh, 2 steals, Four rebounds, six assists. Pretty good overall game. And that was just the starter. I mean, these the Knicks ended up winning by 20 points, 99 to 79, a blowout. So we've got two blowouts heading in the opposite direction. And if you've just watched my last video, you've heard this story before. Two blowouts in the opposite direction after a tight game one. Yeah, this is basically like the Bucks and the Heat. And can you guess what happened in game four with the Bucks and the Heat? The underdogs won in the Heat. So what happened in the Cavs versus Knicks game? Now this game was slightly closer than the last two with the New York Knicks eventually winning again. 102-93, taking both games at Madison Square Garden. They did their thing. They showed up. They showed out for New York. You know, uh, Jalen Brunson, 29 points, 6 rebounds, 4 assists, 3-point shooting, 50%, field goal shooting, 50%. Yes, Jalen Brunson is the star of New York. Crazy to say. If I had said that two years ago, you'd be like, who? Jalen Brunson who? Yeah, uh, the king of New York. Josh Hart, again, the most points he's had all series. 19 points. Josh Hart stepped up. Uh, seven rebounds. Rebound threat. You know, you've heard all this. 43% uh, from the field, not his best. But when Jalen Brunson is playing as well as he is, Josh Hart can slack off in the percentage-wise. All right. And in Game 5, the New York Knicks wrapped this series up real quick, winning by 9, in thanks to the man, the myth, the legend, a Jalen Brunson. He dropped another 20-point bomb. He averaged more than 20 points in this series. Uh, 23 points tonight with, I want to say, 4 rebounds, 4 assists, 2 steals. Yes, Jalen Brunson did his thing. Josh Hart, another rough game. Sucks to see it, but he is changing the culture, which is why we love him. All right. Uh, two guys that stepped up for the Knicks. Low key on the low. Low key. Uh, J J RJ Barrett. RJ Barrett got 23, 21 points. Fantastic for RJ. Uh, 7 for 13 from the field. 4 of everything. Yeah, in case you were wondering. RJ basically got 4 of everything. Not bad. Not bad. But most importantly and most impressively was probably Mitchell Robinson's 18 rebounds, with 11 of those being offensive boards. Yes, that's 11 times where the New York Knicks miss a shot, and what does Mitchell Robinson do? Give them possession back. Now, was that important in this 9-point win? Uh, probably. Probably the reason the Knicks won. Anyway, shout out Mitchell Robinson. Shout out all the role players doing their things. But most importantly, they're doing it because of Brunson and Hart. Now, does this team stand a chance in the playoffs? How far can they go? Which is a question I asked about the Miami Heat in last video, so go check that out. Anyway, the Knicks' path looks a whole lot easier now that the Heat eliminated the Bucks for them. Yes, the New York Knicks are playing an 8th seed team in the second round, which pretty much means that the Knicks have a pretty easy, the easiest path to a conference finals appearance, an Eastern conference finals appearance. Now, say they make it that far. Who are their potential opponents? Well, we've got the Sixers, and then we've got either the Hawks or the Celtics. Script writers, take notes. This is what you want, all right? Hell, this is what I want. I want to see the Knicks in the finals, not because I love them, but because I think it would be cool for LeBron and the Lakers to beat them. New York versus LA. Oh my god. Make me an NBA script writer. I'm doing amazing at this. Realistically, how far can they go? Honestly, Eastern Conference Finals. Pretty realistic. And at that point, four games away. Four games away from the finals. So, shout out uh, their GM, the owners, Tom Thibodeau, great coach. Shout out all upper management for getting Brunson and Hart together with their young core to create a real playoff team. A playoff team that might just win it all. Alright. Uh, catch y'all later. Much love. Deuces.